Anthony Shane, thanks so much for joining us. How special is it to be back at the club, in particularly this week? Yeah, it's amazing. Look, uh, the atmosphere, what is it, Ten or 15,000 here, it's incredible. Brings back a lot of great memories. Yeah, it's pretty special when you look at around and so many people and all excited as well as, you know, as fans and parents. So, yeah, it's an amazing turnout for the support for the boys. So, yeah. Yeah, big Collingwood fan, obviously. The kids all barrack for, for Collingwood as well. Yeah, been watching pretty much every game. Uh, I've gone to a few games this year, including the preliminary final last week, which is oh, so very exciting, obviously. Um, so, yeah, just really looking forward to, to this weekend. Yeah, it's pretty surreal when you look around at a training session to have this many people here. Um, really shows the enormity of what we're doing and, and the club. So, it's yeah, awesome experience and yeah, I can only imagine what it'll be like on Saturday. Oh, it's been amazing. The whole lead up to the grand final, like we all met last Sunday and they talked us through what was going to happen. They put on a great breakfast and... Yeah, it was absolutely amazing. They've, they've really um, ticked every box, that's for sure. To see the fans come out and in the droves like they have, I think maybe hopefully they can get a few more down tomorrow being the public holiday, but um, yeah, it's, it's a great effort and the, the support that the club's got uh, um, through the public and this year, I think the, the support's just been amazing. Um, the sound and the, uh, and the emotion that's even just coming through the TV, watching at home has been incredible. So, um, yeah, to be here first hand experiencing it, it's pretty, pretty incredible. Obviously you two played together in 2002. It must be great just to connect with each other. And I guess 20, 21 years on from that game, we're playing Brisbane again. Yeah, it's ironic, isn't it? But um, it's awesome to be here. As Shane said, so good to see so many past players here as well. Um, it brings, up, brings back so many memories of, of our time together. Um, hopefully these guys out here can go one step further than what we did. So um, good luck to them. Yeah, I, we had a few of us meet in the um, new museum at the front of the uh, building here, which was really nice, just a, about a half hour chatting with everybody. There's plenty of past players down here today, which is great. And yeah, it's a great opportunity for anyone who's been fortunate enough to contribute to the club to get down and um, get around it. It's a uh, very welcoming place. and. Always exciting on grand final week. Scott's fifth crack at it this week in terms of grand finals, including the drawn one. Um, could you ever imagine that your son would have gone on to play five AFL grand finals? Uh, well, with his drive and passion, I, I really do. Yeah, but it, it just doesn't happen. So, you know, dedication and hard work. So, um, yeah, hopefully the fifth, the fifth one will be the one that there's another one to the bow. So, yeah. And it'll be your first ever AFL final. It's a yeah. grand final. Has it, has it actually sunk in yet that you're going to be playing? Yeah, not really, to be honest. I'm trying to stay in the moment a little bit and just enjoy it for what it is. So, um, yeah, I'm sure when we get there on Saturday, it'll sink in a bit more, but um, I just can't wait to get out there and, and play a role for the team. Any you nervous, excited? What are the emotions ahead of Saturday's game? All of the above, yeah. It's, um, it's actually really emotional. Well, at least uh, Pendlebury and I are standing here and... It's like, yeah, just feeling very emotional. Yeah, it's great. And you played in the 2003 Grand Final against Brisbane themselves. We match up with them 20 years later. What advice would you give to the boys ahead of the week? Yeah, look, I mean, I did a lot wrong that week in terms of preparation, but I would just I'd not overthink it, just go out and play footy uh, at your best and what will be will be. Um, but, uh, yeah, I look at this game like the uh, 20th year anniversary revenge game. So <laughs> I hope they are looking at it like the same way. It's been a long time since we get the opportunity to, to get one back at them. Had two cracks at them this year, but first time on the MCG. Does that give us much confidence going into this weekend? Yeah, I think both teams have a lot of reason to be confident going into the game, but also a lot of reason have some trepidation, um, you know, because of both those factors. So I think it'll be a cracking game either way. If we can... I guess play our way for, for longer we'll win and I guess they'll be saying the same thing so it uh, sets up for a great game. What's changed over time obviously still massive supporter base, um, players, new generation, what's changed since I guess those early years in the 2000s? Well a lot, um, you know the, the speed of the game, uh, their preparation, strength and conditioning, uh, in, in many ways it's the same but a lot, has, a lot has changed in what has been 20 years but um, you know, there's a sense of uh, obviously excitement, but there's quite confidence. I think the players look uh, look like they're nice and calm, and which is really important in the build-up to a grand final. I would say the one thing that hasn't changed is the love and support from the crowd. It's enormous. You know, the whole crowd out here today, the support they get on game days is is huge, and um, that's forever been the Collingwood way. Finally, talk us through the t-shirt. Oh well, um, friends of ours bought it, and um, yeah, that's well. Yeah, I'll, I'll have one and yeah, that's what it's about, the goat. 